implanted iridentism will get a boost unless the judiciary says Obi should be sworn in, Dr. Hakim. And the news in full. In a statement released by Dr. Hakim, Baba Ahmed, in his publication, published by Vanga newspaper while speaking on the just concluded presidential election. He noted that there would be an increase in lantern irredentism unless it will be with the second of the Labour Party wins its case in the court against the president elect Asiwaju Bola Mentinebu. Dr. Hakim Bol Baba Amen noted that there was an increase in hate, speech, and intense dispute at the outcome of the elections. Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed's statement reads, Add hate speech and intense dispute at the outcome of the last election and die threat over all judicial outcomes. And you have a country that will absorb all the energies of its leaders in limiting the expanded scope of organized crime and terror. Relationship between faith and neighbors have been badly polluted and they will feed insecurity. Lanted irredentism will get a boost unless the judiciary says it will be should be sworn in on May 29. Without a strong United elite, which will pull many Igbos away from the thinking that Nigeria has no room for an Igbo president now. However, the South East will become even more restive. There will be in many parts of, of the country that will be indignant that Igbos cry are undeservedly thriller and the potential that Igbos as identity could be resented in many quarters exists and should be avoided. More than 6 million Nigeria voted, voters voted in favor of an Igbo president. Millions of others choose other candidates. There are strong ground to be made for Igbos remaining in the Nigeria political mainstream. What it needs is the leadership to actualize it. We don't believe everything will go away for this country. Here for my listeners, I'll be the BOT. Call the shot hand. Latent redentism to get a boost or less judiciary says OB should be sworn in. Dr. Akin, please react to that. You guys should do so, believe, do justice to every of your reactions. We talk about various opinions. They already pop in for the comment section. The first one is from Leopard, which is New Land, okay? He said, What will be the ground for judiciary to order will be swearing in? He didn't have the highest vote or the spread. No one should insinuate that. Winning. The FCT is of any consequence. Atiku has a better chance than, than to be, but because the North and PDP are as aggressive, toxic, confrontational, agitative, selfish, and illogical as LP and the Igbos. The propaganda of the Igbos is dominating the false narrative and expression. Then why are they begging him to drop all his allegations? Every case he has against a, a Balatini, but why are they saying make it drop them? But they always say the same thing to Atiku. He will tell, he will explain this one for us. Then from the person of Mantu, you say, are you okay at all? I wonder the type of politician we have, we have nowadays would be that only one each legislator and one state. Remember, will be is in the third position Ubi can never be our president in this country again anybody that support Ubi is mentally insane are you doing insane 
because you don't like better thing. If you like better thing, you know you don't condemn Obi. You know, will not condemn him. Almost uh, almost in fact. Almost every Nigerian and him then they prefer. And they came out in mass to vote for him on that very day. And they voted for him, many of them. So why is it that he was able to emerge as the winner? We will explain that one for us. Then from the person of Santiago News, say ah ha ha. He say we she's he say white she's. He say Peter B cannot be sworn in. He is unfit to be president, tricking, trucking, traitor. If he's unfit to become president, then at the time we can't call defeat. You know, she say you know your caution self, you know, they are not even organized. Then from Nuna say the court, court he say the remedy is that evil should imbibe the Nigeria culture of respect for people and leaders, insulting people and expecting them to trust love and accept you for position of leadership is self deceit, the wrong move of the evil officers and key political leader from other regions and tribe except the Igbos uh, and the current toxic conversation of majority of the Igbos in public forum are uh, enemical to Igbos political emancipation in Nigeria. And this small thing, I don't believe it will go well for this country. Okay, for this now we are wrapping it, please endeavor to subscribe to this channel and also ensure that you share the very news to all social media platforms as you do so believe the Almighty God we do if anything for your life, bye bye.